Hey there, Sharon horn from here. Welcome to day 1,614 of What's She Up To Now. This is the audio segment and video segment where I document my journey, primarily my business journey. Uh, most of my life, actually, it's strange, but it has been about business or or working or creating something in the in the world that I want to create. Uh, since I was 13, I had my first business when I was 13, and ever since then, even if I had a job, I usually had a business on the side from then until now, right? I, I don't have a job now, but I left corporate America, I think 2003, 2004, after over a quarter century of, of working in corporate, in some of the coolest corporations on the planet. But I realized that I went to corporate America with the intent of learning what I could learn because I always wanted to run my own businesses. And so I went to college, got some degrees, probably more than I should have, and then spent over a quarter century in corporate America. But while I was in corporate America, I always had businesses on the side. And I think that was actually my secret competitive advantage in the in my career and why I advanced so quickly in my career, because I had a whole different perspective in my jobs as the majority of people that I was working with. I always had an owner's mindset and with an owner's mindset you look at situations and you look at decisions differently and I think that gave me an advantage over over you know the people that I was working with my co-workers in the competition however you look at it so I share in this segment what am I working on I share some of the projects some of the stories some of the lessons that I'm learning and have learned throughout my corporate career my business different I've been in at least 27 different industries offline and online I came online in 2017 after my divorce and I've lost count of all the businesses in the different industries that I've worked in or helped and, and help people build and supersize their businesses in literally thousands and so I've never sat down maybe I'll hire somebody to sit down and do a worksheet of the different businesses and the different industries that uh, we worked in I don't know. if anybody's interested let me know and I'll get a, a VA or someone to do that because I definitely am not going to do so today, I, I created two pieces of content, and I hear my granddaughter, I've got the mon baby monitor with me because I am hanging out with my granddaughter while her parents are in Alaska, and she she was a handful yesterday. It was so funny, so much funny stuff happened, I can't even describe it all. But I finally ended up calling her parents and saying her mom sang her to sleep because she misses her parents. They've been gone for nine days now, and so she misses them, and she just wanted to see their little faces, and so... We did that, but <clears throat> that kind of ties in today's topic, right? Today's topic for the BU 365 Day Challenge, our annual challenge this year, is to do one thing every day that improves us. And I decided since it was a challenge I'm just making up, I was going to set it up according to the framework that I set my life up as. The framework I use to look at my life, set my goals, plan my objectives, decide what I am and am not going to do. And that's a nine part, nine area life framework and this month we're focusing on relationships uh, so I our topic for that today was love in relationships we talked about what love looks like in different relationships what it means to us and today we're going to look for the different types of love that we see in the different relationships that we're involved in as we go about our day because it's important and it is to me the glue that holds relationships together or not it's it's what makes them strong and solid if we don't, and, and it applies to any relationship, if we don't love the people that we serve as we're growing and building our business, guess what? They know that. They know we're just in it for the money, and if we're just in it for the money, we're not going to really build and supersize the business or, or create the type of business for the business owners that I choose to work with, right? I choose to work with business owners who have a passion for what they're doing. They know that what they have to offer makes a difference in the world, a positive difference, right? I don't work with people that make a negative difference in the world because it goes against my core values. And to me, that's not love. So <clears throat> I work with people that I want to see succeed and I want to help in any way that I can. So love and relationships was for supersize your, not supersize your business, for our BU 365 day challenge. And the corresponding, because I'm picking a relationship related idiom to go through the month of June, since June is relationships for the annual challenge, I decided I was going to, for my female entrepreneur, supersize your business group, I was going to pick an idiom that is along the same topic. So uh, that's what we've done in this month is relationships. And today's was go with the flow. Now, 
I love this idiom. I love this expression. I've heard it and used it literally hundreds and hundreds of times in my life, right? Back in the days when I was younger and I didn't go with the flow. And now that I do go with the flow and I, I see how much better and happier my life is. So I shared 12 different ways that you can go. I can't, you can't do 12 fingers. <laughs> 10, 12. 12 different ways that you can go with the flow. And I will still contend that we don't go with the flow of things that are not for us. Things that don't feel good for us or feel bad to us, those aren't for us, so we don't flow with them. We go with the flow of the things that are for us, that the difference we wanna make in the world. And so I shared 12 different ways to do that, which was really a fun list. It's a fun list. And then I shared, I said, how do you go with the flow? That was my question. I don't usually ask a question for that group, but today I wanted to know, how do you go with the flow? What do you do? to go with the flow. Do you fight against everything? When I was younger, I used to fight against everything. I broke all the rules. I fought against everything. But as I got older, I learned that we can pick and choose the, the things we want to push against. And we don't have to push against everything. And we can just choose not to participate in the things that aren't for us. And that's the approach I take now. I go with the flow because I only participate in the things I want to. And I choose not to participate in the things that don't make me feel good. So that was really actually fun content and fun topic today. I, I actually really enjoyed them. So now I'm going to go show my granddaughter some love. I'm going to have an awesome day. I wish you the same. If I can help you in any way, just ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Go with the flow, share some love, and I'll see you tomorrow.